Hey there suburban homesteaders, are you wanting to add some feathered friends to your backyard? In this video, we're going to show you how to raise chickens in the suburbs. From choosing the perfect breed to building a coop, we got you covered. Enjoy fresh eggs and satisfaction and sustainable living. Let's go. Alright, so we're going to start off with choosing your perfect chicken breed. Now unfortunately, if you live in the suburbs, a lot of the times you cannot own roosters like that one. I mean, you wouldn't want to own a rooster like Falcon because he's not the greatest rooster ever. But, let's just say... Yeah, you got a rooster, you have to get rid of him, unfortunately. So I'd recommend going to a breeder that knows what they're doing, knows how to tell chickens apart. Once again, I'm not going to say that word here. So, um, yeah, that's what you want to do. You want to make sure that you're selecting the right breeder or else you're going to have terribly sorted out chicken breeds and that sort of stuff. And also make sure you know what chicken breed you're talking about. If we're talking about sex length chickens, well... You're, you know 100% that you're going to get no roosters, or all roosters. If you don't get those types of chickens, well guess who's not going to get a 100% rate of no roosters? You. So choose a good breed that has a good amount of chickens that turn out as hens versus roosters. In this flock, green queens turn out very, very unpositive with this, but buff Orpingtons and all my other breeds of chickens turn out really well with this. Now building a chicken coop applies the same whether you live in the suburbs or if you live in the middle of nowhere or in the downtown area. So what you need to make sure you do and right now is making sure that you have the right coop. While in the suburbs there's a bit more noise keeping just about every single predator out. There are some fearless ones I might say like owls. So you don't just want to leave them a roosting bar outside. That's not going to happen. That's not going to work because you're gonna because you're gonna get picked off by an owl in just a couple nights so you want to make sure that you have the perfect coop this could just be a simple shed or a coop like this one most of the time suburban coops are typically a little bit less sturdy than the ones but you the, than the ones that we have over here in the middle of nowhere but i still recommend making sure it's sturdy enough so that way it doesn't get knocked over by anyone and it's in a convenient enough place that if you have to mow your lawn well you don't have to like do some very special maneuvers. Now there are a few do's and don'ts when it comes to doing that. So if you can notice I'm walking through a garden right now, conveniently enough, you need to keep them away from any garden because there are some poisonous plants. Now, in my next suburbs video, which is coming out, God knows when, because my upload schedule is worse than anything else. And also, if you want to see how bad my upload schedule is, subscribe and turn on notifications and you can see how bad it is. So. Yeah, you want to make sure you're keeping them away from any gardens, any weeds, you just keep them in a grassy area. And also, you need to make sure you're applying the proper amount of feed and water. This goes for anyone raising chickens. It doesn't matter where you live. So make sure they have feed, water, and everything else. You can even repurpose a couple of things, so that way everything's good for that. Click on one of the videos on screen right now. Trust me, it's amazing. It's going to be such a great video, and you're going to enjoy it, and you're going to watch all the videos that are on that screen. So, bye.